Hey, this is Jen from Scanacut Jam Sessions and Scanacut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Um, this is a tutorial that's going to replace the old one because when Craft Edge um, did some updates, uh, they changed the way um, that when you uh, put words and you actually um, make shapes out of words, they changed the way we have to do that. So I'm going to show you now how to do that. Okay, so we want to make, let's say this is just a for instance, we want to take a baseball and um, put words inside of this baseball and make um, a baseball shape out of words. And I'm just going to do a real simple one here. Let's change this. Okay. All right, that should be enough. Let's get rid of that one. Delete it. Okay. So let's bring all these down here out of the way. And we're going to bring this baseball over here because this is what we have to do now. We come up here to effects, to your shadow layer. You want to click blackout shadow. However, over here, you have to bring it down to zero. Alright, then come over here and click OK. Then pull your baseball out of the way. Fooey, fooey, fooey. I should have grouped them. Doing a thousand miles an hour here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and group them while they're on top of that. Okay. Let's click out of that and then come back over and we're going to highlight everything. Alrighty. Come up here to path and then click intersection. And wait for it to work. Okay. <clears throat> So, it finally decided to work, so that's what happens, and then we're going to bring the baseball back over here and set it right on top, and that's how you get your words in the shape of what you want. It's a little bit longer process now, um, but it still works the same, all right? So, you're going to bring your shape in, you're going to come up here to your effects, you're going to click the shadow layer, click blackout shadow, take it down to zero, you're going to click OK, you move that, move the original design out of the way, you'll be left with this. Then all those words that you typed out, whatever they may be, you're going to put on top of the layer. All right. Then you're going to come in, you're going to highlight it all, not just when you drag the words over it, it may appear like it's all highlighted, but it's not. Click off of the, all the letters, okay? So when you have all these letters, come on. When you have all the letters over top, you know, it, it looks like it's all highlighted. But it's really not. You have to click off of that and then go back and highlight it all. You're going to come up here to Path, and you're going to click Intersection. And then that will clear off all of the, it will trim it to fit your shape. Okay? So that's how you go about doing that. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Have a good